Hi folks, this is a review of a biometric fingerprint personal safe bought on eBay from solartorrent.com and the invoice states the business name as Pure Forms Inc. in California CA91748. This uh, cost me $105 for the item plus the shipping which was $25 plus a further $70 to get it to the UK so I paid $195 for the product and this review is to point out to people how the product works and make sure they're buying what they would like to buy this is what the keypad on the front of the safe looks like and being a conventional sort of person I would have assumed that you would use it with these numbers orientated in this way, whether you mount it on the floor or the wall. But my expectation was that I would mount this on the wall. So if we zoom out, you see a wall safe. And in my opinion, I would expect this to have a door which would open like so or like so. So just picture the scene that I bolt this to the wall. It has screw holes pre-drilled on the back. And I want to screw it to the wall and access my documents which are inside it. So I press my buttons or I put in my fingerprint and then I turn the knob and there's a heavy metal door. This is quite a heavy door as you would hope in a safe. But inside there is a gas strut. You can just see it here. Except the gas strut is not powerful enough to lift it. So since the door doesn't lift of its own accord, operation of the safe becomes a two-handed job. Because if I want to access this safe and it's, it's mounted vertically on the wall in the way you would expect, I have to lift it with one hand and put my items in with the other. And unless I mount it very high, I can't actually see the contents of the safe. So I then wondered what it would be like if I, if I had the safe on the ground. Uh, not that I'm going to mount it on the floor, but say that I did mount it on floorboards or something. Then again, with the door open, the, the salespeople, when I raised this, suggested that if you can't open it, you just lift it with the keypad, but I can't actually do that. It's physically not possible to lift it with the knob. There is no other edge or handle to grab it. So thankfully, because I haven't screwed it to the floor, I'm able to open it like this, tip it forward to demonstrate to you the problem. The problem is that the gas strut cannot support the door. As you can see, I was just using newspaper here to prevent me catching my fingers. It just drops. So this is an accident waiting to happen. And the gas strut neither lifts the door, nor moves it up so that you can lift it the rest of the way, nor supports the door when it is open. So, what happened when I raised these issues with the manufacturers? I said to them that the top hinging was very unusual and meant that it was impossible to mount it on a wall and use it easily because it needed uh, one hand to open, hold the door open and the other to put the product in. The, the salespeople at solartorrent.com when I raised this issue and said that the strut was not able to support the door said to me the problem you described is a feature not a bug now this was obviously written by someone with a sense of humor because there is nothing about this top hinge which is a feature because if you mount this on a wall this is a really really impractical way to access a safe and as we've seen already, if you mount it on the floor, 
it's impossible to open the door. So they said that they have uh, tried one there, which they stand upright and the jack, for which I mean, I presume they mean the gas strut, is strong enough to lift the cover. Well, this one isn't. They say if we lay it on the back with the keypad facing the sky, the jack will not lift the cover, as you described, so we agree on that point. In that case, we hold the knob and lift the cover. Now, I am six foot two, a reasonably strong guy, and I cannot lift this cover using this knob. It's a smooth knob, and even if you could lift it, it's quite a, quite a weight to lift with just finger and thumb. So I cannot do it. That's what they say should be done, and I'm sure the next thing will be the, the knob will probably come off in my hand. But at the moment, it's impossible to open. They said we did not bolt it down, so we did not experience the impediment of spacing as you described. But anyone should be able to see that if you mount this on a wall, then opening it like this is going to make it very difficult to use. If you're above it, you cannot see what's in the safe. And if you're below it, you're going to have to mount this safe at somewhere above eye level. So very cumbersome. The response of the people at solartorrent.com is to say that the cost of shipping would not be worthwhile for a return. We've never had any returns so far and yours is the first feedback on the jack. I hope you can use the safe productively and figure out some workaround to the quotes problem unquotes reported. This is not, in my view, good customer service. I don't want them to take the safe back and send me another one because it uh, cost me $90 to get it here. But I would like them to recognise that there's a problem with the description on eBay and that people should be shown how this safe works and the limitations on its use. And my opinion is that the only effective way to use this safe is to turn it on its side where the keypad is then in an illogical position. If one does this, the strut is able to open it a, a little bit. There's enough strength like this just to open the safe. So you turn it on the side, use the keypad like this and the finger thing, and then the door will open like that. So this is okay if you want to access the safe from this side but you are then working with a relatively small platform in which to stack all your items and I think I may have to install some form of shelving system here because I'm working on the small edge on which to stack my items. This is just the felt cover that comes in the back or the bottom depending on where you fit it. But in my particular place, I need to mount it so I access it not from this side but from the other. So I'm going to have to mount it not like this, but like this. So I will approach from this side, put on my fingerprint or type my buttons, and then open the, the door like this. And in this case, I will be working with an even smaller aperture. Or, or platform for my goods because the strut is secured to a metal bracket here. And this means that I'm working with the base of my safe about six inches long and about two inches deep by the time we take into account the width of this plate, which is the housing for the lock and the batteries. So overall, I really don't know how you're supposed to use this safe because no one in their right mind would make a safe that you have to access by the keypad facing an illogical way. If you mount it on a floor, which isn't ideal in a lot of environments, it's impossible to lift the door and access your goods. And if you mount it on the, on the wall, you can, oh, you can lift the door like this and like that, but unless you mount it very high, you cannot see what is in the safe. 
So overall, build quality, excellent, very sturdy metal. Uh, it would be, in my opinion, quite difficult for someone to access this safe unless they can do something with the locking mechanism, but good grade of steel, nice finish, nice paintwork. It took about three weeks to get to me from the US, but this door mechanism makes it next to useless for me. So I mount $195 for something which I either mount in a way that I can't see the things, or I mount in a way that I am resting a few things on a platform that's about 6 inches by, by 2 inches. So solar torrent, customer services, suck to use that American expression, and I have yet to see whether they would come up with anything more. I offered them a video when I emailed them about these problems, but they just said, I hope you can use the safe productively and work, figure out some workaround to the problem reported. So that's my review of the product bought on eBay from solartorrent.com, which is described as a biometric, brackets, fingerprint, close brackets, personal, safe, comma, off-white, color. Thank you for listening.